I am Sima Yi. I have trained in the arts of strategy since I was a mere boy. Normal people cannot begin to comprehend the depths of my talent. Cow Cow recognized my ability and asked me to serve him. Although I have no interest in petty things like the Imperial Court, I saw this as a good opportunity and agreed. This could be the perfect time to test my skills. I shall see how capable this Cow Cow, I mean my lord, is and guide him towards the goals that he seeks. Sima Yi, I am entrusting the defense of Fawn Castle to you and Cao Ren. As a strategist, you are said to be without equal throughout the land. Now is your chance to prove it. The Shu army will definitely take advantage of the continuous raid. Keep defending and wait for the proper moment to strike. Eventually, Wu will show up to aid us. I see that Guan Yu is their commander. He still refuses to join me. I have no other choice than to have him eliminated. Show me your strength by delivering his head. We must hold out until the reinforcements get here. They're strong. We must be cautious. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. by the river. The river? Could they be planning a water attack? Damn it! I can't... Hold up! I won't be denied next time. I shall vanquish the sword. Feet of skill. I failed to live up to my father. Mine shall vanquish the sword. Hm. The water attack has failed, has it? You're alone? You must long for death! Their strategy has failed! All units counterattack! Denied next time. 
The mind shall vanquish the sword. This battle is far from over. Hold your positions. Do you think you can stop me? Here I am, everyone. Shu Huang has arrived. Incredible! I won't lose a second time. The mind shall vanquish the sword. Defend yourself, or suffer death by my blade. I shall do this insult well. Crush them beneath us! Though you're my enemy, I must have your skill. Ambition. Are you prepared to face me? I won't be denied next time. The mind shall vanquish the sword. <laughs> Your skills are impressive. Though I have failed as a warrior, this is a glorious end. Farewell, and thank you. Pathetic fool! Thanks to everybody, we were able to successfully defend Fawn Castle. However, I must say that I was quite impressed with Guan Yu's last efforts even though he was the enemy. This time, Wu was our ally, but eventually, the day will come when we must face them as well. Until then, the turmoil and chaos shall continue to plague the land. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known throughout the land as a veteran of great ability. The Battle of Fawn Castle ended in our favor, and we defeated Guan Yu there as well. Of course, this feat was only possible because I was there. One shouldn't expect anything less from me. Not long after that battle, Cow Cow passed away. I had expected him to accomplish so much more. His son, Cow P, took over as our new lord. I sense that this Cow P and I are actually quite similar. This is most interesting. I will serve him for the time being and see what becomes of it. 
Sima Yi, I will now undertake the leadership of Wei. I do not share my father's old dream of restoring the Han. From now on, Wei will act according to its own interests. Shu intends to protect Jie Ting by setting an army atop the mountain next to the main road. Huh. Such a pathetic strategy. They'll be doomed the moment we surround them. That will be our focus, surrounding the enemy at the summit. Take out their officer, as this will make things easier for us. All right, let's go. Supposedly, he's a pupil of Zhuge Liang. But to camp there? Absurd. Clearly, he has yet to learn any of the aesthetics of strategy. I'll show him. I think it's time I paid them a visit. Don't you? Ah, yes. Go forth, Zhang Yi. Yes, my lord. We'll rain terror down upon Wei's main camp. Pathetic. I can see right through their plan. Watch the battle closely. You're alone? You must long for death. Won't lose a second time. Fool. The mind shall vanquish the sword. If we see certain points on the foot of the mountain, we can isolate Masu and administer his death. Closing in on our side? Complete the attack and seize the foot of the mountain. I shall show no mercy. Long for death. Beautiful and talented. Not bad. I won't lose a second time. The mind shall vanquish the sword. I won't lose a second time. The mind shall vanquish the sword. The enemy has taken control of the rear? We're through. Forgive me, Prime Minister. Stand and fight me! Downward assaults won't work against us now. Slay Masu and take control of the mountaintop. Zhuge Liang's reinforcements are closing in. What? We have to react. Take Ma Su down quickly. If they won't come to us, then we'll take the fight to them. <laughs> Finish them off.
act like I rushed into things. Time to retreat! The blind shall vanquish the sword. You should pull back if you want to live. Your skills are quite impressive. We're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Do you think you can stop me? Our attack shall be a thing of use. Shall vanquish the sword. We will defend these supplies at all costs. We've destroyed that fool Masu and taken the mountaintop. All that's left is to attack Zuge Leon before he attacks us. I won't be denied next time. The pine shall vanquish the sword. We have them right where we want them. We must strive to be beautiful above all else. Your treachery shall not go unpunished. Denied next time. The mind shall vanquish the sword.
Mercy is for the weak. Destroy them. way and Ma Su isn't here. Go, take out every one of the reinforcement units. didn't make it in time. Can't even train a capable apprentice. Ma Chao is here. Who dares face my spear? As a commander, defeat is unforgivable, is it not? This withdrawal is part of my plan. The mind shall vanquish the sword! I defeated Ma Su and occupied Jie Ting. Everybody knows what happens when such an inexperienced person challenges me in battle. I suppose it was a good training session, though. This battle has proven that there is nobody left within Shu to oppose us. Our elite troops simply need to chase them down and ensure that every last one of them has been eliminated. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a veteran of great ability. The Battle of Jie Ting also ended in victory for us. It was a dull battle, but I was able to get a glimpse of the Shu strategist known as Zhuge Liang. 
Zhuge Liang, the man who guides Shu. They would cease to exist if not for him. Who could have known that there would be one to rival me beneath the heavens? This is most interesting. All the more reason to demonstrate my talents. Attack me if you dare, Zhuge Liang. I shall prove to you who is mightier. Shu must really dislike Wei. They could have surrendered after Jie Ting, but they insist on fighting and have launched another attack from the Chen Kang Road. Our newly built castle lies along that road. This will be the perfect opportunity for us to test its capabilities in combat. Zhang He shall deal with the enemy outside the castle. Cao Ren will defend it. Sima Yi, I want you to assist them as necessary. Understood? At last, you gave me on. I have prepared a special treat for you here at Chen Kang Castle. Hao Chao, ready the weapons. Archers, get in position. You and your pathetic scheming shall be for naught. <laughs> you can't keep this up forever, Zhuge Liang. Hao Zhao, use a defensive weapon to protect the front gate. All other units, destroy old enemy weaponry. I'll make quick work of those contraptions. Everyone stay and guard the east gate. Enemy ram is attacking the castle walls. I won't be denied next time. I shall vanquish the sword. Enemy siege ramps approaching! Our attack will be a thing of beauty! The enemy commander is mine! I won't lose a second time. Mine shall vanquish the sword. <laughs> These weapons must be stolen with the base. Find that base and tear it down! The mind shall vanquish the sword. Zhuge Liang must have known this would be a hard fight.
alone? I can't tell if you're brave or just foolish. Make the same mistake twice. I shall vent the sword. Huh? There are more of them still? Spotted the enemy commander. <laughs> Looks like I rushed into things. Time to retreat. The mind shall vanquish the sword. Seems they are stronger than we anticipated. The enemy commander is mine! Such an impressive feat of skill. I won't lose the second time. I'm so thankless the sword. Enemy weaponry has damaged our castle defenses! Shuge Liang, is there no end to your tricks? If I defeat you, I'll be made a hero! Strong. You must be cautious. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. Sorrow is best fought with the mind, not the sword. Beautiful and talented. Not bad. We're not through yet. Ready the fire arrows. This withdrawal is part of my plan. The mind shall vanquish the sword. <laughs> no matter who or what opposes me, my army comes out victorious. The Shu army will not try to approach Chen Kang Castle again. Should we attack the already weakened Shu? Or should we aim higher and try to finish off? Our next move will be an important one. But with 
Whichever we choose, I already know the result. We emerged victorious from the Battle of Chen Kang. Zhuge Liang, was that the best you could do? I expected so much more from you. However, that fool refuses to learn and continues to attack us. Could he truly be so stupid? Or is his mind concerned with something else? Very well, I shall accept his challenge. Zhuge Liang, I shall destroy you on the fields of Wu Zhang Plains. I've become bored of watching Zhuge Liang's struggles. Sima Yi, we will destroy Shu here and now at the Wuzhang Plains. You may have noticed it as well. Shu is growing weary and their morale is decreasing. Destiny may finally be catching up with them, or their leader, perhaps. Then we have nothing to worry about. Sima Yi, I leave you in command. Defend until the enemy begins to falter. It's your favorite tactic. You shouldn't have any problems. They just keep coming, rambling on about virtue. I can't put up with this much longer. Yes, but it won't last. Soon Zhuge Liang will perish, and Shu will fall. And when they do, the land is ours, and the chaos will finally come to an end. Everyone, you must not lose hope. In this battle, victory will be ours. So this shall be my final battle. <laughs> this isn't looking good. is mine! I challenge you! This offensive cannot last forever. Hold the front line until opportunity presents itself. Master Sima Yi, we have brought what you ordered. Master Sima Yi says to ready the catapult. Hurry! Ah, it's here. This will change the tide of the battle. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. The mind shall vanquish the sword. I won't lose a second time. The mind shall vanquish the sword. Just as I thought. Ambush party. The time is now. No! John Hui gone, the catapults are useless. Hmm. They are not stopping. That Zhuge Liang must be planning something.
for my army. I won't be denied next time. The mind shall vanquish the sword. A strange new weapon has been spotted in the shoe camp. A fresh transport unit. Block the supply line. Give orders, but you can't fight for yourself, huh? This one's mine. Fuck all you want, dog. Fight me. <laughs> Strangely calm. Hmm. We'd better use our reserve units. Zuger Leon doesn't usually rush like this. Don't give in! Our chance will arrive soon! I'll vanquish the sword. Huh? Shuge Liang's star. <laughs> so, he's fallen at last. Advance! The time to attack Shu is now. I won't lose a second time. Mine shall vanquish the sword. I won't be denied next time. The mine shall vanquish the sword. The Shu army has initiated retreat. Strong. We must be cautious. Did you think you could overcome this base? May fortune guide your path. May be the end for my army. I need reinforcements.
What? Zhuge Liang is back? Ah, Zhang Wei. Do you really think you can replace your master? Halt the advance! Withdraw for now, and rebuild the camp. Zhang Wei, you... All units fall back! to defend the base. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. to take the base! Stop them! of our times. <laughs> some battles you win, and some battles you lose. The time shall vanquish the sword. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. Ah. There was so much left for me to accomplish. I shall vanquish the sword! It is a simple task to defeat an army that is in a hurry. The Shu army in Zhuge Liang. It was the fate of their two stars to fall on the fields of the Wu Zhang Plain. And now, the fate of Wu and the Sun family lies within the hands of Wei as well. There is nothing left that we need fear. We simply need to make the necessary preparations and finish them off at our leisure.
Zhuge Liang perished and Shu fell along with him. Now we need only to finish off Wu and our Lord Cao Pi will dominate the land. Cao Pi's dominance of the land. This shouldn't be bad at all, considering what Wei has accomplished so far. It would be a world worthy of my talents. Very well, Cao Pi. I shall serve you for as long as you remain alive. But when the day comes that you're gone, it will be my turn to rule in your place. Sima Yi, we are going tiger hunting. We must repel Wu and keep them away from Heifei. At last, the end of the chaos draws near. Wu believes this will be the final battle. They have surrounded our castle on all sides and intend to launch a massive attack. A tiger is merely a beast. It knows nothing but how to romp about. Let it run until it is exhausted. That's when we begin our attack. Let's go. If we win this battle, the Kingdom of Wu will be finished. You will have realized your father's ambitions for the land. Not quite. His ambitions mean nothing to me. I fight only for myself. And nobody else. This land is mine. You treat this army like it was your own, Siba Yi. Yes, but only temporarily. Every man here is yours to command whenever you please, my lord. <laughs> I shall leave them to you for now. Now we shall forever seal the fate of Wu. Zhuge Liang dead, my skills are unequal. I will crush that upstart tactician of Wu with a slight wave of my hand.
my luck run out. The mind shall vanquish the sword. Right through their plan. You have no right to confront me. I'm out of your league. Say whatever you want. But I'm taking you and Cal P down and claiming this land for Wu. Insolent wretch! I shall show you just how weak you are! You're attacking by yourself! A foolish! We must not be so careless! You should pull back if you want to live. I've let everybody down. The mind shall vanquish the sword. them before they break through our wall. Just finish this. You're truly a hero of our time. And even that, well, maybe not exactly. The mind shall vanquish the sword. Is this how I'm to meet my end? The mind shall vanquish the sword. The enemy! The enemy is on the mountain! It's no use trying to bring in new forces at this stage. Begin the counterattack! Let me show you the fighting spirit of the Soon family. Come and fight me! See what I'm really made of. I will never abandon the dreams of my kingdom. Left unfulfilled. I have let my father and brother down. Mine shall vanquish the sword.
I should have expected this from Wu. To cause this much trouble for our army, this truly was a fitting battle with which to sound the end of the Three Kingdoms era. With Shu and Wu both gone, there are none left to oppose Wei's ownership of the land. <laughs> I think I might actually kind of miss them. Perhaps it is nothing. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a brilliant youth. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Sima Yi, from the land of Hainei. Born to a prestigious family of scholars, Sima Yi would come to be known for his great intelligence. He refined his knowledge through various studies and soon became a master strategist. Cao Cao summoned Sima Yi into his service to help realize his ambitions. When Guan Yu came to attack Fan Castle, Sima Yi assured a fearful Cao Cao that they would win by having Wu attack the enemy from the rear. After Cao Cao passed away and his son Cao Pi became the new ruler, Sima Yi was promoted. The land was soon divided into three kingdoms and Zhuge Liang of Shu launched a campaign against the north. Following Sima Yi's victory over Shu's Ma Su at the Battle of Jie Ting, Zhuge Liang himself came out to attack Chen Kang. Sima Yi showed no signs of panic at Shu's siege and repelled them, leading eventually to victory. Although victorious, Sima Yi was fearful of Zhuge Liang's abilities. However, the death of Zhuge Liang freed him from such fears, as there was no longer anyone capable of challenging his intelligence. Shu perished without Zhuge Liang, and Wu eventually succumbed to Wei as well. The chaos was now quelled and peace restored. However, Sima Yi's true plans were yet to be seen. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on today. The legendary warriors are praised and respected as if they were the gods themselves. By all means, celebrate your little victory.
Because before too long, everything you've earned will be mine. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.